Can theater change the world? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Can theater change the world and has it changed the world? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I think theater changes the world daily. I mean, I, I think we see it all the time. If, you, if your definition of theater is a liberal definition. It changes the world one person at a time. I think it has. I don't know if it still can, but I certainly do think it can. I don't know if it has, but it should. And I changed my world. Look, theater's changed my world. But theater saved my life, so I know it can change the world. I think that every great revolutionary idea begins in the theater, and that we have a responsibility as theater artists to put forth the vision of what we want our world to look like. So this is my theory, okay? I don't think that theory can, sh uh, that plays can change, that theater can change the world. I think theater is a necessary part of a culture's um, uh, ecosystem. So I think it's, it's not about necessarily changing the world, it's about a very, very important part of our culture. So if you take that away, then the culture fails. So I think it's actually more deeply uh, profound than changing the world. It's a part of the world. I think it can educate people and can influence people. I'm not sure if it can change. I'd love to think it could, but um, I, I hope it will make a difference to people's thoughts and opinions. And um, yeah, I, I, I hope it would. Because it can move so much quicker than um, a lot of other mediums. So you can be a lot more political, I think, in theatre and make a lot more, um, be a lot more relevant. And there's something about having it live there, which speaks to people, I think, in a more uh, visceral way. Um, yeah. I think so. I've certainly seen plays which have not have changed the world, have changed, shifted my perception of it for at least a, you know, a period of time. Television and film now have such a wider audience that they can change things much quicker than theater can. But theater, I feel like, is, the still, is still the root of, I think, so much philosophy. Uh, and they can, de they can tackle some harder stuff than, uh, than a lot of television can because of just demographics and stuff. Any, anything that allows people a release, anything that allows people an escape, an escape from their troubles, I think it, I think theater makes a huge difference. When I go in to see theater, when I leave, I'm a different person, and hopefully, I've learned something about myself and about other people. I think good storytelling is the way that uh, you know that, that that human beings grow. It's been something that we've been breathing in since the beginning of time, since cavemen have started telling stories around fires. Um, in the more immediate sense of things, I think theater is very important in terms of not only making small changes in people's lives in terms of how they feel about their day, but on more social and political levels, I think it has a great effect. Hamilton, I think, is a great example of a show that, um, that changes how we view what this country is, and as Oscar used to sit the public is always saying about this show is that it changes the dialogue about who owns this country and and how we've come to be where we are so that is a piece of theater that actually helps us redefine who we are as in particular this country so I think that's a, a really important change and that's due to theater first it changes the heart then it can change the mind and that makes people get off their ass and do something so I'm a great believer in theater as a socially active force. And if the visit doesn't make people think differently about how they're living their lives, then we have failed badly. An American play, Death of a Salesman, how many middle-class Americans were forced to examine their values after seeing that play. I remember how much, I was a little boy, how much it affected my mother and father. And it still could do it. Angels in America certainly affected people. Yes, theater could be entertaining. I like to laugh too, but I also like to be made to think and questioned and challenged. And when theater does that and entertains you, that it's very best. I think playwrights like Beckett, I mean, he wrote these plays that challenged what the world was looking like. Uh, I think Tony Kushner. In so many of his plays, he's always challenging what the world is and puts the conversation in the forefront and then everybody catches up. I mean, like the curious incident, um, it takes you inside the head of someone that you uh, perhaps 
in a normal social environment wouldn't be able to empathize with or even just like reading about like someone like that you wouldn't be able to like really fully understand but curious incident takes you the way it's directed the way it's lit everything it takes you inside so you can empathize on a more profound level and f and feel what it's like to be that person such as my money on it comes we uh present the problem to the audience present the problem of uh illegal immigration and and undocumented workers in the restaurant industry and um uh is, is it right is it wrong um who's who's um Who's who's making who's making the money in in the in this restaurant industry? Uh, I think what we can do is present the problem to the audience, and hopefully the audience uh, can leave and try and, and solve those problems for for the for the United States especially. One time it changed the face of New York about the turn of the last century when the two Lears were produced and there was a riot and many people were killed. Uh, there have been uh, in Greece there was a production of a Greek play on Antigone, which during the pushback there created a huge turmoil and changed the government. Yes, it can change. Has everyone you've asked said yes? I mean, that's why we're all here, We're trying to change the world in a way.